Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the look of this title, I will be doing a full phase of just drugstore makeup. And this is the look that I will be showing you guys. So I hope that you guys are excited. And I'm also so happy to announce that this video is being sponsored by NYX Cosmetics because I will be showing you guys new other cool products that they have. So the whole look that you guys see going on right now is mostly because of NYX. So I will be showing you guys two of their new products which happen to be two eyeshadow palettes and their eyeliners so starting out with the eyeshadow palettes you guys these are to die for let me tell you they are just so freaking beautiful so the one that i will be using for today's look is called hasta la vista and it looks like this you guys oh, isn't it so pretty it's super vibrant very very pigmented as you guys can see i mean hello i have it on the eyes but they both come with 10 eyeshadows so this is the one that is like the most neon looking very very bright out there you know and then we also have this other one which is also very bright but also at the same time it can be used like a little bit more toned down with some neutral colors in there you know so we got this one going on this one we got the brown so we have still some shades that are a little bit more toned down on this one while this one is a lot more out there more fun so i'm going to be showing you guys like i said how to create this look that i have with this palette but this one like i said it's called shifting sand and it's still so beautiful 10 eyeshadows they're also very very pigmented so i definitely suggest check these two palettes out because you do not want to sleep on these these are amazing and they're both available at nyxcosmetics.com so if you guys want to check it out i have a link down below to them but you can pretty much have fun with these eyeshadows you can just pop them on your lid or something and blend them out they blend so easily you can work with them very easily and not to mention they all all the colors that they have in the palette they work perfectly together so you don't even have to think about it just have fun and you will you will enjoy these palettes now the other thing that i have here is their eyeliner so these actually come in nine different colors but i only have these three the one that i will be using is happy hour which is the pink one which i actually have on my waterline and they're so fun i feel like these are great for the summer and just to have like your makeup look look super colorful and fun and the thing i love about these eyeliners is they they have a water resistant formula so they're gonna be great for the summer that's why i was like you guys can use these whenever you're at the pool, the beach, or something, you know? And also the other thing about these eyeliners is that they're super affordable. Um, I love the way that they apply. You guys are going to see it. They just literally glide on your waterline so easily, and then they dry down to a matte finish. So I love these eyeliners. So if you guys want to check these out, they also are available at nyxcosmetics.com, but they're also exclusively now available at Ulta. And then the third thing that they have new is jelly highlighters, you guys. So they have actually three different shades so this one's called luminous it's a beautiful like white but it has like iridescent sparkles in it it looks so pretty and then this one is called bronze which is literally like a really beautiful bronze but at the same time once you put it on like you can see kind of like the iridescent color um, in it and then this one which is really cool is called opalescent and it's like a white but as you guys can see i don't know if it camera is going to catch it really well but it has like hues of like purple and pink i don't know it's so beautiful but i personally don't always like just applying the jelly highlighters on my face but these would be beautiful to give you like that like fake glow in the summer so i would actually like applying these on my sh uh, collarbone shoulders you know just to give that beautiful glow so if you guys want to have fun with those you guys can use these so these this is the actual last new product from nyx so if you guys are into these you guys can also pick them up because they're also available at nyxcosmetics.com i have all links to these products down below in the description box along with the other ones that you guys will be seeing in today's look but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and shut up you guys because i just want to show you guys now the makeup look because it's so easy to recreate like you guys might think like because it's bold colors that it might be a little bit more complicated no these eyeshadows, like I said, are super easy to work with, so you guys are going to see it all. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this makeup look. Alright guys, so I'm going to begin with the eyes. I'm going to first grab Hasta La Vista palette. So, it's this one right here, the one with the more neon looking type of colors. So, the first color that I'm going to grab is this one right at the corner. It's kind of like a coral shade, so I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take a blending brush, blend this back and forth in my crease. And as you guys can see, I just applied a very light base of this color and it's still very pigmented. I barely tried grabbing any and it really shows up nicely. 
Um, but anyways, now I'm gonna move on to the next color. So the next color I'm gonna grab is this one right here right next to it And this is like a very like neon pink So I'm just also gonna apply this on top of the crease not blending it as much all the way up Just kind of like having the, these two colors blend in together. This is such a pretty color I don't know why playing with pink eyeshadow always makes me so happy <laughs> I'm also gonna be applying it right here at the outer part Kind of blending it outwards I'm going to take again my first blending brush just to blend out these two shadows together. We're going to start deepening up our outer part of our eye. So the next shade I'm going to grab is this one down here. This one's a little bit more deep. So I'm going to apply this just on the outer part of my eye. With that same brush, now we're going to go into this one right here. This other side of the palette. And then also keep applying this on the outer part of the eye. Taking the E25 again, I'm just going to make sure that it's well blended out in the crease. I'm going to give an overall blend. I know it looks like a mess right now, but it's because I'm just really concentrating on having these colors blend out. Um, this area we're going to clean up in a little bit. Taking a smaller detail brush, I'm just going to make sure to blend out the darkest shadow that we've used so far in our crease, just blending it back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and take a makeup remover and just make sure that my under eye is nice and clean and then we're going to clean the actual lid space. Alright, taking a little bit of concealer now, I'm going to go ahead and clean the rest of my lid, just a half cut crease, you know, so that way we can add our next eyeshadow. Going back with the E25, I'm going to try to blend out the edges of the concealer. And I'm just doing it by doing little tapping motions. Now for my lid color, I'm going to go bold and use this blue shadow over right here. And it's really beautiful because it actually has some shimmer in it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this right where we had already originally cut our crease. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. I'm fucking shook it. <laughs> All right, now for my favorite part, I'm gonna go ahead and use this eyeliner. This is a pink one called Happy Hour, and I'm just gonna be applying this on my waterline to make that pink pop. It's gonna look so beautiful, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Ooh. on my waterline. My eyes are looking like a party. Now for my gel liner, I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner. I'm just going to do a basic classic wing liner, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one, the Voluminous Lash Paradise. All right, now that I got my lashes on, I'm gonna move on to my face. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime it with this primer. This one is supposed to blur and minimize your pores. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my entire skin. And I'm literally adding it to where I normally have pores, which is literally right here. <laughs> And a little down here, just smooth it out. And then for my foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm using the color 11, which is beige. So I'm going to go ahead and dot this all over my face and then blend it out with the brush. For my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use this one from LA Girl. This is their Pro Concealer and I'm using the shade Tawny. Now that everything is well blended out, I'm going to go ahead and set it with this loose powder. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this all over my face. Now that we have our face set, I'm going to go back to the eyes to finish them up. Like the under, the, our lower lash line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a flat shader brush. And I am going to be taking the blue color. And I'm going to just apply this on the inner corner of my eyes and then I'll finish off the rest of the outer part and then I'm gonna take the darkest 
purple that we use on the outer part of our eye and then also apply this on the outer part. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. And because we're gonna be applying our highlighter and everything, I'm just gonna go ahead and now just take advantage and apply my highlighter to my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this NYX um, Born to Glow palette, which is full of highlighters. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one that's up here. It's literally this lightest one, but I'm also gonna mix it a little bit with the golden one. So that way we create this beautiful shadow and apply it on the inner corner of our eyes. All right, now moving on back to our face, I'm gonna go ahead and use this bronzer from LA Girl in the color Toffee. So now for my blush, I'm gonna use this one from L'Oreal in the color Charming. It's a beautiful um, like neutral blush, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because we got the eyes very colorful, so we don't wanna take away from that. All right, now for my highlighter, again, I'm gonna take mostly this shade right here, but mix, it'll just take a little bit of that one too and use that as my highlighter. Now for the lips, I did wish I could go a little bit bold, but again, I don't wanna take, take away from the eyes. They're just already like so pretty. They have their moment. So instead of adding a bold lip and taking away that intention, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a really simple nude lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and line them first with the Flower Beauty Lip Liner in the color Toffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and line them. And then for my liquid lipstick, I'm gonna use this one from NYX, the NYX Lingerie uh, Lip 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 Liquid Lipstick in the color Dux, Dust to Dawn. Wow, I can't talk right now. And well, my loves, this completes this makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully you guys get to recreate it by using these products. I 100% recommend all of these. They're absolutely amazing. So if you guys um, end up picking any of them out and you guys try them out and love them, let me know. But other than that, you guys, if you guys love this tutorial and would like to see, obviously, more drugstore makeup looks, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're not part of the Birdie family, what are you waiting for to subscribe? Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. That way you just during this birdie family but anyways with that my loves thank you guys so much for watching me i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys all in the next video bye <laughs> okay just to blend out these two shell <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Me atravetido, atravetido. What the fuck am I saying? All right, I love it. What a pinche party! Just kidding. of dress from dress what the fuck am I doing? Ah! okay